So Daniel Cormier has been asking for this fight for a long time. You know, he beat Dan Henderson and uh, started talking trash to me on the mic right away. No matter where you go, boy, I'm coming. When I found out I was fighting John Jones, I was like, finally, I've won 15 fights. Every round I've fought in my career, I've won. I've done everything I needed to do in order to earn a title shot. Total domination. And he's dominating one of the greatest of all time. I got it. Now I'm ready to take advantage of it. Now I'm going to give him what he's wanted. And that's an opportunity to get his butt whooped by me. There's a level of intensity attached to this fight that is really unprecedented. This animosity is absolutely 100% real. DC, you suck. And I had you on your back in like six seconds. Yeah, with the help of three security guards. He actually thinks we got into a fight yesterday. I oh, don't that understand that how. That didn't count. That wasn't an actual. But you, you beat me up. Good job, Tim. Yeah. You're Shut an up. idiot. Shut up. You're an idiot. Shut up. You're an idiot. DC, my dad's gonna beat you up. You are just terrible. The talk is over. And I also believe Daniel Cormier's hype is over. This is one of my moments of greatness to be an Olympian, to be the Strike Force heavyweight champion, to be the almighty Daniel Cormier. John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight champion. Daniel insulted me and really doing his, his best to piss me off. It, it's worked. He's definitely brought out uh, an extra energy and motivation uh, that I need. I don't play into this whole, this guy makes me angry, so I'm more motivated. Eh, well, whatever. You're the best pound for pound fighter in the world, so I was motivated anyways. I'm training because I'm fighting for the UFC title. He told me on an interview, I'm going to do very violent and malicious things to you. There's nothing you can do to stop me, Daniel Cormier. Expect very malicious, violent things to happen. Uh, were you not planning on doing that before? I mean, come on, dummy. You were going to try to hurt me before. What are you going to do, try to hurt me more? There have been fights in the past where he hasn't trained as hard, and this is one of those fights where you can tell the bad blood has brought that, that chemistry out of him, where he wants to go that much harder in camp. My goal is a lot bigger than Daniel Cormier. You know, my goal is to go after the record books, you know, to be remembered as one of the greatest martial artists of all time. John Jones is the youngest champion in UFC history! At 27 years old, he's the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter, an endlessly creative, spectacularly talented young man with a big task ahead of him. Daniel Cormier is the biggest mountain that John Jones has ever had to climb. A lot of people knock him for being, you know, short, tubby. I don't. You're a little fat that tubby body made it to the Olympics. He got to wrestle Division I. Uh, he's learned how to use that body. I believe that the success he has is for a reason. What matters ultimately is who comes more prepared mentally to utilize their body better and execute. And make no mistake about it, John Jones is the biggest challenge of Daniel Cormier's professional career as well. This is not the first time I've fought a guy who seems stylistically my worst matchup. I'm used to making guys who seem amazing not look that good. What a fight! For all the negative that I may say about him, he was just the fakest person. Athletically, pound for pound, best fighter in the world. His biggest advantages lie in his ability to control where the fight takes place. Well, that's my biggest advantage. This is Daniel Cormier proving to the world that he's one of the scariest of the contenders. Wow, what a powerful takedown! I'm better than him at wrestling. He ain't taking me now. I'm gonna take him now. Let's see how he deals with that. I think the biggest question is going to be asked on January 4th. January 3rd, people are gonna go, I'm so excited about this fight, I can't wait. January 4th is when people are gonna wake up and go, how does this dude make it look so easy to beat the best fighter in the world? Daniel Cormier is a sensational wrestler. He also has lightning fast hands, legit one punch knockout power. Это его судьба стать чемпионом. Я знаю, что он выйдет и сломает кости. Just like that. Uh, this isn't just it for me, though. It's for my family and people that just like carry me as a idea that there's better out in this world. You know, a guy that came from where they were and has done something special in his life. When you got a guy that has purpose, now you're in a dogfight. I've already proven myself. I've proven my heart. I'm glad he thinks that. That, that's a thing he has over me. I'll, I'll let him keep thinking that. I have a big belief that whatever your passion is in life, pursue it to the fullest and try to be the best at it. Miles Jury 
has that air of special about him, like a young man who is very focused, very dedicated, and is doing all the right things. A couple wins ago, Miles beat Diego Sanchez, you know, a training partner of mine. Oh, big right hand. Man, that guy hits hard. The way he, he approached the whole situation put a little salty taste in my mouth, just the way he got on the mic. What, if anything, surprised you? That I just beat him so easily? A couple wins in the UFC and you're running your mouth like that? I said, give me him, Dan. I'll go ahead and I'll take that boy. Miles Jury is about to face the biggest name of his MMA career. Donald Cowboy Cerrone will, without a doubt, be the most dangerous, the most versatile, and the most experienced fighter that Miles Jury has ever faced in his career. I'm a hell of a test for him, you know? I believe him coming and stepping into the octagon with me is one hell of a feat, so come on, Cowboy Cerrone has been on a roll lately, and he's one of the best in the world. And to be the best in the world, you got to beat the best in the world. And that's what I'm planning on doing. For Miles Jury, this is a big step up. This is a chance to shine. And a victory would be absolutely gigantic for him. For Donald Cerrone, this will be his sixth fight in the past year. This fight, January 3rd, starting the year off rolling. If the UFC would fight me every month, I would 100% take it. That's what keeps me alive. And uh, I'll take as many as I possibly could. For Donald Cerrone, it's important that he get this win and send a message to everybody else at 155 pounds. Donald Cerrone's coming after that belt. I'm not like Gustafson. I won't wait three years for a title fight. No, absolutely not. So let's go. Whoever's next, let's go. Cowboy's a, a great fighter. That's evident, but he's never fought somebody like me. I've proven time and time again that I belong here, and I belong at the top of the sport, and that's where I'm headed. A lot of eyes are going to be on this. I want people to know Cowboy's on the card. That son of a is not going to back down, and he's going to give it all. I'll go out there to kick ass and, and, and win. Miles Jury has that look about him of a young man to keep an eye on, a young man who is improving in leaps and bounds with every fight. We saw his improvement in the Ramsey Najim fight. Oh, my. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that. We saw his improvement in the Diego Sanchez fight. Absolutely destroyed the former pride legend, Takanori Gomi. Oh, huge punch from Jerry. Right hand. And it's all over. That's it. That's it. That's it. And it's all over. My style makes fighters look silly. It's hard to prepare for somebody like me. I'm unpredictable, and nobody knows what I'm going to do. You know, Miles is young. He really hasn't been a nail very much, if you can get my drift. Me? I've been a nail several times. Donald Cowboy Cerrone is a wild, technically sound kickboxer with lightning fast submissions off of his back. Oh, oh. he knocked him down with a jab. Donald's got his back. He's going to finish it right here. He's got it. It is all over. He loves to fight, and he is very good at it. Obviously, I go out there and put on one hell of a show and keep winning. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's over. It's it is over. all over. Big win tonight for Cowboy. Miles probably hasn't fought the caliber that I believe I am. You know, given this opportunity with the Cowboy fight, you know, I'm not taking it for granted, and I'm definitely looking to go out there and take advantage of it. The kid's undefeated, you know, he's a monster. He's gonna go in there and he's gonna shock the world, I believe. Beating Miles, you know, derailing his undefeated streak, to me, definitely another step closer to the title, you know? You know, I said it once and I'll say it again, nobody's ever fought a Miles jury. I came to the UFC to do two things, hand out lollipops and ass whoopings, and I'm all out of lollipops. Hey, if you think you're gonna come just walk through me, Miles, pack a lunch, brother. Been a long time. There is nothing you can do to stop me, Daniel Corleone. You can hate me now. I won't stop. But I won't stop now. Can't He'll realize that he never wants to get locked in a cage with me again. You can hate me now. Do I hate you. Expect very malicious, violent things to happen. Because I can't stop now. Come on. You can hate me now. Come on, people. But I won't stop now.